All right, guys, you ready to break your records? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what a PB is? No. A PB great. means your personal best. It's the biggest catfish you've ever caught. Are you guys ready to catch the biggest catfish you've ever caught? Yeah. yeah. All right, we're gonna see if we can't break both of your guys' PBs. But first, we gotta go on a road trip. Well, we're halfway to the fishing spot, and turns out my son Nathan has no shoes at all. He hopped in the car barefoot without me knowing, and we have no shoes. So we had to swing by Walmart to go buy Nathan some shoes. This is the fun of taking kids fishing. Do those fit? Yeah. Walk around. Those fit good? Yeah. Back to my tabletop. Well, we've been on the road a couple hours and we're here in Hopewell, Virginia, and we are gonna go fishing the James, but we've got an early day tomorrow, so we are gonna check into a hotel. All right, go on in. <laughs> All right. It's 6 a.m. and we're getting these boys roused. We're gonna get some breakfast and we're heading out to the James River. Pull them up! <laughs> Pull up your pads! Are you guys excited to catch some big fish? Yeah! <laughs> well, here we are, guys. We're on the James River in Hopewell, Virginia, and we're going on a little charter here with Trip Out Catfishing and this Captain Jim here. And uh, we're gonna try to see if we can't catch the boys' new PB catfish here, or at least for blues, anyways. If my memory serves me correctly, Tommy here, his blue catfish PB is 35. Nathan's is 25 pounds. So I think we have a very good chance today of beating your guys' PB. Yeah, you excited? I'm gonna yeah. be very welcome. Now here on the James River, this is a tidal river and the tide means everything. It affects where you go and how you fish and it's constantly changing. So right now the tide's not running too hard. So we are gonna go over to a place with a bunch of pilings and we're gonna use the trolling motor and we're gonna kind of poke around a little bit and see if we can't pull off some big catfish. Oh, look at that oh gosh, look how all right, as we're running out here, let me really quick show you our bait and what we're using to catch these fish. First off, we've got classic gizzard shad here, and we got chopped up into little fillets, and we've got some freshwater eel right here. That looks like an eight-aught circle hook right there. Eight-ounce no-roll leads. I got a set of Okuma bait casting reels and tsunami tough tip rods, and 50-pound mono for the main line. All right, you see you got this little structure right here. This is a really common thing on big rivers under bridges, and the current rips through these sections. So you gotta hit it, the tide right, otherwise it is really hard to keep your boat still in these types of places. This is a good place to try here because there's a lot of structure down there and the catfish can hide behind the pilings to get out of the current, but then the current sweeps food by and they can jump out and grab it. The biggest downside to these pilings though is the current rips around these pilings and so it's often hard to keep your boat in the right place. So he's dropping this down to the bottom then reeling it up a little bit so it's less likely to get snagged. And uh, we're just kind of cruising along here. What, what's it like when the blue catfish attacks? All right, so we got six rods going. We got one on each corner and two in the middle. We'll see what happens. The current's really strong over there, but there's almost no current right behind here in the shelter of the piling. So that's where we can hang out, and that's where the fish are gonna hang out. They're gonna sit in the slack current, waiting for fish to come by. All, all right, guys, whoever sees the rod get bit and calls it out, that's the person who gets to reel it in. So pay close attention to your rods. Hey, look at this, guys. I think they're gonna raise up the drawbridge. Check it out, they're raising up the drawbridge. That's cool, I've never seen that happen. When barges go by, we get a barge bite. Have I told you about barge bites? When a big ship goes by, the fish get all crazy and start biting all the hooks. Now, a lot of people have different theories. My theory is that the, the shad get chopped up in the propeller sometimes. And so after a barge goes by, the, the catfish go looking for, looking for food. You know what else, Nathan? What? The bigger the barge, the better. See, that tugboat's pushing the barge. 
Dad? Ta Tommy, that barge went by and now you're eating. You got a barge bite. Me there we go, just working right along the edge of these pilings with the trolling motor and just got a line right down up as close to the snags as you can get. That's why you want that really heavy duty leader so that if you get snagged up, you can pull it out. You got them, buddy. Oh, uh, look, there's the bubbles. See the bubbles? Ooh. Oh my goodness, look at that. He's not bad. But you caught dad. I mean, that's a, Daddy, that's Catfishzilla. That's Catfishzilla. Yeah, because that is a big Oh, there we go. That's not bad. It's about, what, maybe 15 pounds or so. There you go, Tom. Not bad. First catfish of the day. And uh, give me a high five. Daddy, yeah, the one in the back. See, look at that. Look at that. Eight. Go, go. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Let's wait. I don't know if he's still on. Yeah, he's on there. Yo, reel him in, man. Reel him in. All right, keep going, Nate. Oh, you might got a PB breaker here. I, I can't. Oh, yes, you can, buddy. You are, you're I'll doing it. I'll help you, Nate. Can I help you? Oh, Nate. Oh, oh. Hey. let's see. He's... That might be. Beast. That's a beast. That's good. 27. 27. That's your new PB, buddy. I got yeah. a new PB, Tommy. Okay. Now, big smile, big smile, yeah! There you go. Slimy high five. Yeah, good job. 27 pound, that's your new PB, huh? Yeah! That's your new blue catfish PB. All right, we're about one hour in and we got two catfish in the boat and a new PB for Nathan. So we're off to a roaring start. Are you having a good time, Nathan? Yeah, it's a fun fishing trip. Really, that's a, that's a, that's a big one. Right, right go, go get him, Dom. That, that's not a 12 pounder. That's a big one. Oh, yeah, that's, God, this is that's a big one. It's still hard. Help me. Help I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. It's still hard. Oh, oh, oh. oh wait, wait, wait. Real, real, real fast, 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 fast. Yeah. Oh. 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 That's heartbreaking. This is where we do the catfish cry. You ready? <laughs> Dobby, that was, I think that would have been a PB breaker, buddy. Go, yo, yeah, yeah, Tom. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> he took a catfish crap all over you. That's why he was holding still. He was meant to poop it. Here, here, hold the poop. <laughs> you pooped your pants. No, I did. The cat just pooped on me. No, oh, we go. We really didn't. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, oh baby. you get the baby catfish award. You worked so hard just for this. That looks like hooked. he's bait. He's barely hooked. You have the biggest catfish of the trip and the smallest catfish of the trip. Yeah, up to you. If you want him to. Hold on. Oh, no. You have a catfish booger in your hair. Oh, oh, I, I got it. There's your catfish boogers. <laughs> well, the water's got pretty calm. We're at slack tide now. That's usually a pretty good time to catch fish because they don't have to fight the current. So they leave their holes and kind of run around looking for food a bit. So we often get a pickup at, at uh, slack tide. Trophy hunters seek the mighty Tomasaurus for his Cheeto tusks. Uh. Ah. So we're moving over to the next set of pilings and we're gonna work that for a little bit. All right, I've told the, I've been telling the boys about Garzilla, the giant gar that broke like two rigs and got away when I was fishing here once. And so uh, now the boys are telling me all the amazing stories of Garzilla and how he eats women and children and sinks boats. So <laughs> Garzilla has a mustache that punches you in the face and laser eyes. Is that right? Yeah! Wait, Lizardzilla? Yeah! No, I've never heard of Lizardzilla. I felt that. <laughs> there. Oh! Oh, a little, little guy. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta hold. Okay, why don't you go throw them back? There you go. Well, the wind and waves have kicked up, but we're not giving up, man. We're seeing if we can't pick up a last minute catfish here. To break my PB I ever 
break my PB. I haven't broken it. Uh... Oh, use your Pokemon seasick. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, look at that. He got well, one. Not right my there. PB. He won't even hook. He's just holding on to it. Yeah. Hold him. Go for it. Well, we had a good time, but it's time to go home. I think we're going to be pulling up, heading back to the dock here. Well, guys, me and the boys had a great time, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more videos from the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning, and I'll put links in the description to Jim's guide service, and uh, don't forget to click. Subscribe! Nailed it! Yeah.